Welcome Aquarius to your oracle reading and for you this week I pulled number three elk as your medicine card. Three is the number for growth so this is going to be a challenging week for you. This is going to be a week where usually when you see three it means there's a catalyst there's some sort of challenge to overcome. We measure ourselves when we come against, up against a challenge. It helps us to grow and so this is going to be a difficult week but it's going to be worthwhile. When we grow we learn more about ourselves we learn more of who we are. Now, elk medicine is stamina. So this is a week that's going to be one to pace yourself. This is not a week to focus on the end goal. This is not a week to hurry to the end, to the finish line. This is a week to take tiny, small steps towards your goals. Don't try to rush them. You can't push a river uphill. Just let things flow naturally and go with them, knowing that this is a marathon, not a race. Now for your mineral companion this week, I pulled this beautiful piece of dragon stone, and this is a heart chakra stone of bravery. So you need to be brave this week. This is standing up for yourself. This is saying, I won't tolerate certain things. This is standing up for your boundaries, keeping things in place. Know that others can't break down your will and they can't overcome you. You will be brave this week. You will stand up for yourself. Now for your advice card, I pulled number 40, Pachamama. 40 breaks down to 4, which is the number for reliability. So this has to do with the core of who you are, the foundation of your being. And Pachamama represents gratitude. The earth provides for us everything that we need. Food, water, air, all the sustenance is provided for us. Only mankind has really made it to where we charge other people for that sustenance. But that has to do with an exchange of energy. The earth provides for us, flows energy towards us freely and continuously. And so for that, we must express our gratitude. So this is a week to really ground into gratitude. Focus on gratitude. Make a list of everything that you are grateful for. Get into that frequency of gratitude so that you can attract more things to be grateful for. I like to say... Keep your list of things that you're grateful for in your pocket, under your bed at pillow at night. <coughs> Basically, wake up and read it, go to bed reading it. Remind yourself constantly of what you're grateful for. And if you can continue, continue to maintain that state of gratitude, you'll find that it will transform <coughs> your life. I apologize for the coughing. I'm getting over coronavirus and that I caught a cold on top of that, so... I've had quite the experience, but I'm here doing your reading for you. So there you go. Now for your clarifying card, I pulled number 54, Aponya's Wild Daughter. 54 does break down to nine, which is the number for completion. So something is coming to an end this week. There is a conclusive energy here. But Aponya's Wild, Wild Daughter represents unearthing a wound. This is a week where you're going to be aware of something that has wounded you. And it is a great opportunity for healing. Instead of focusing on our wounds, we can thank our wounds for existing. Say thank you for teaching me more about myself. Teaching me more of who I am. If we resist discovering these wounds, if we resist our wounds, they will persist. They will grow stronger. They will haunt us. So this is a great week to use that bravery of Dragonstone and overcome this wound. And the best way to do that is gratitude. As I said, thank that wound for existing. Thank it for teaching you something more about yourself. See it not as an obstacle to overcome, but something that is teaching you, a teacher. But most importantly, learn from it. So overall here, what I see is this is a week where you will be challenged. A wound will come up. Gratitude is needed. And bravery. And you will overcome it. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for next week's video. Also check out your moon and rising sign videos as well for even more illum illumination on the coming week. Thank you so much. Bye for now.